Welcome back. In the first video, we talked about matter, and we identified and separated matter into elements and compounds. That was a bit of an oversimplification, because in nature, we've got a little bit more complex situation. The elements and compounds that we separated into in the previous video can actually be classified as pure substances. And the reason why we make this distinction is because matter can actually be separated into two parts. Materials or matter that are pure substances, elements and compounds, but also matter that's made up of mixtures. And these mixtures can be made up of multiple compounds or elements mixed together. Now, <clears throat> let's start off with the pure substances. I have a couple of examples here. In the picture that you see, I've got potassium chloride uh, in the top left, and top middle is sodium iodide, and the top right is sodium chloride. They all look very similar to each other, but if you look closely, the sodium iodide has a little bit different color to it than the potassium and sodium chlorides do. The second row is the blue compound, the copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate, which means that the compound actually has five water molecules incorporated into its crystal. The other uh, reddish purple compound is a cobalt 2 chloride hexahydrate and it also has water incorporated into its crystal. These are all pure substances called compounds because their formulas are set. They're not mixtures of anything else. This is all they are. They can be further divided up into elements as we saw in the previous video. Uh, the second picture I have some elements. Uh, I've got copper, top row on the left hand side, magnesium in the middle and lead on the top right and in the second row I've got two elements that look very similar to each other sodium and potassium. Both of these are under uh, mineral oil to keep them from being exposed to air and reacting with the air. These compounds and elements are all pure substances. So what about mixtures? Well mixtures can be many different things. Uh, we have two different types of mixtures. We have heterogeneous mixtures where we have mixing of compounds or elements. Uh, they're mixed together, but you're able to identify them or you can pick them apart in that mixture. Uh, you can distinguish between the different parts. For homogeneous mixtures, these are going to be mixtures where you're not going to be able to tell the different parts from each other. In chemistry, one of the most important homogeneous mixtures we have, we call solutions. And there are many different forms of solutions. But homogeneous mixtures can have many different states. And we'll go through some more examples of these later when we cover solutions. But these heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures, they can be themselves separated out and identify the different parts which are going to be our compounds and elements.